Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple text and a user feed GUI by using a Python. So for that, you have to install a library that you can enter. So I hope you download it. If you don't know, if you don't have Kinter library, so you can download by using pip install King Kinter. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, you have to import all necessary modules like. Uh, okay, let me show you guys. It is from printer import abstract. It will import everything from the printer. And after then, from printer import TTK. After you have to declare a function. That is your main function. And inside you have to provide a variable name and uh, your root. Okay. Suppose the variable name is X. And inside this you have to provide a class name. So let me first create a class. So. And you have to close it as well by using a if name is close to main like this. So if this underscore name this underscore equal sign and this underscore main. Okay. Inside this you have to do the same. That is root equals to pk and mm, okay. So it is done. Now you have to create a class inside this. Any class of what I'm going to name as window. You can give any name. And after that you have to create a variable. Take a variable and give the that class name. Inside root. Okay. So just repeat the same line in the class okay after you have to close the you have to put main loop okay so it is there now if i run this in value syntax okay Okay, this is a function. So after this, there should be a parenthesis like this. Okay. Okay. So after then, inside this class, your all working will done inside this class. Okay. So just create a function that is def init, and this is basically constructor. And inside this, you have to provide self comma master. And just change the colon. Okay. So after then you have to use that master variable, not a variable that is argument, and just take this master again. And after then you have to give the geometry and the configuration and the title of your first window. Okay. So first of all, start with the title. So self dot master dot Title title will always show on the upper left corner of your window screen. So just give any name like uh, my first my first window. Okay. And the next line you have to give the geometry of your window. Suppose I'm going to give the geometry that is. Geometry suppose 500 cross 500 so it will represent a square because the length and the width are the same and this is not a length and width this is basically a x and y axis okay so this one, this one is also done and the next one you have to config this self dot master dot config and after inside this parenthesis, you just give the background color that you want. So I'm going to use the cadet blue. 
this is my favorite you can use red green and so any even you also use powder blue this is a quite light in the comparison of cadet blue okay so this is configuration is done geometry is done title is done so if i run this uh, let me show my okay so as you can see this is our window and you can see on the upper left side there is a my first window that is our title and but still inside this there is not any content not any text and not any user field okay so let's run let's kill this program okay so now we have to work inside the inside the window we have to create frames so for creating any frame we just use the cell dot uh, frame this is our variable and inside this equals to frame and uh, frame where we want to create frame inside the master window so just self dot this is basically a location where you want to create frame so self dot master and uh, after then you have to give the color of your frame so what I'm going to give the white color okay so after then you have to pack this frame if you don't pack this frame it will not reflect on your screen just click on this it will not show yet but when you work inside this frame this will reflect on your screen okay so let's start with some text field suppose I'm going to use self dot just take in a variable self dot suppose heading so for this heading I'm using the HD this is nothing but uh, you can use heading okay and heading is just question for this for text we are using just a label and inside this just write a location so we are going to create label inside the cell dot frame location inside our frame okay so which text you want that is you can write your text suppose I'm going to type welcome okay so what is your font style size and so on so just uh, type is Arial side the parenthesis type is Arial size suppose 20 and uh, this will bold okay this one is also done font will be done and font has been done and next is what your background color so background color so what I'm taking again white and the uh, foreground color is basically your text color that is suppose I'm going to take black color okay so now in the next line you have to provide the grid of your label so grid is uh, basically a location basically a dimension where your text will look so row equals to what suppose I'm used zero and the column is equals to also zero okay so if I run this sorry there is a mistake I forgot dot grid okay now it will run so as you can see guys you can see welcome on your screen so what do we have to do in the next line now we are going to create a new table okay let me show you guys just copy this line so we are just going to create a suppose we are going to create a text user text input so for this text field basically okay so all this take a variable says dot txt you can take anyone and after that you have to provide entry field and inside the entry you just give the location that is cell dot frame and text that user will input we, so we don't need to text parameter parameter inside this just use the font this font just like uh, same that is Arial and uh, 20 again bold and uh, background color this time I will take uh, black okay black color and your foreground color is uh, what white okay and 
this is an error. Now it is done. So in the next line you have to give the grid for your text. So it can be done same as we do for the same as we do for our heading. So just start grid and again inside this you have to provide the row and column. Suppose row is the same row. Suppose we are going we are we want this into the new line. So row is equals to one and a column. C O L E U M N column is equals to both this time one. Okay. So if I run this so as you can see this is our user field here you can give anything suppose and suppose we want in on the left hand side name and inside this we just put our name okay so for this we have to create a new text field just copy this code and just paste it and change your text like we want the username okay so this is the same okay so what you have with but we have to change the location that is basically the grid so row this time row is one and the column is the same now run this so as you can see guys welcome username so inside the you can give any name like uh, reason and so on you can give any name or you also give any number and so on. So in the next video we will we will see how we store these values into the database so stay connected